The unit cost in dollars to produce X designer dog leashes is $5 per leash, and the fixed cost of producing the dog leashes is $10. The price demand function in dollars is little p of X equals 83 minus 3X. We have first asked to determine the profit function big P of X. Remember, the profit function is equal to the revenue function minus the cost function, but in this problem, we are not given the revenue function or the cost function. We will need to determine them. But we are given the price demand function, where little p of x represents the selling price. And because revenue is equal to price times quantity, we can determine the revenue function using the price demand function and then multiplying by x, where x represents the quantity sold. So the revenue function is equal to the price demand function times x, or if we want x times the price demand function. So going back to our problem, we are given the price demand function little p of x, and now we know the revenue function r of x is equal to either little p of x times x, or x times little p of x, which means the revenue function r of x is equal to x times the quantity 83 minus 3x, and therefore the revenue function is equal to 83x minus 3x squared. Now let's work on determining the cost function, where x is the number of dog leashes, and each dog leash costs $5 per leash, plus the fixed cost of $10. And therefore the cost function c of x is equal to the cost per leash of $5 times x, the number of leashes, or just 5x, and then plus the fixed cost of $10. So now that we have the revenue function and the cost function, we can now determine the profit function. Remember, the profit function big P of X is equal to the revenue function minus the cost function. So in this case, we have the profit function big P of X equals the revenue function of 83X minus 3X squared minus the cost function of 5X plus 10. And now we clear the parentheses and combine like terms. If it's helpful, we can distribute one here and negative one here because of the subtraction. This gives us P of X equals 83X minus 3X squared minus 5X minus 10. Now we combine like terms and write the terms in descending order. So we have big P of X, the profit function, equals negative 3X squared and then 83x minus 5x is 78x, giving us plus 78x minus 10. This is our profit function. So going back to the first slide, we now know the profit function is p of x equals negative 3x squared plus 78x minus 10. Next, we're asked to determine the number of leashes needed to be sold to maximize the profit and also determine the maximum profit. Well, notice how the profit function is a quadratic function, and therefore the graph is a parabola, and because a, the leading coefficient, is negative, the parabola opens down. Let's look at the graph of the profit function. If we're concerned about the maximum profit, we need to be concerned about the highest point on the graph, which is this point here, the vertex. If we determine the ordered pair for the vertex, the first value will give us the x value, which will give us the number of dog leashes that must be sold to maximize the profit, and the second value, the function value, at this value of x, will give us the maximum profit. And because the quadratic function is in general form, or the form ax squared plus bx plus c, we can determine the vertex using this formula here. Let's begin by identifying the values of a, b, and c. Notice a is equal to negative 3, b is equal to positive 78, and c, which we don't need, is equal to negative 10. And the first value of the ordered pair for the vertex is given by x equals negative b divided by 2a, which also gives us the equation of the axis of symmetry. Performing substitution, we have negative 78 divided by 2 times negative 3, which is negative 78 divided by negative 6, which is equal to 13. So now we know the first value of the ordered pair for the vertex is 13, which means 13 dog leashes must be sold in order to maximize the profit. And now to determine the second value of the ordered pair of the vertex, we need to determine the function value of p of 13, which is the maximum profit. So now we find p of 13, which is equal to negative 3 times 13 squared, 
plus 78 times 13 minus 10. And let's evaluate this on the calculator. P of 13 equals 497, which means the maximum profit, which means the maximum profit is $497. And this is also the second value of the ordered pair for the vertex. So going back to the first slide, the 13 indicates 13 leashes must be sold to maximize the profit, and the 497 represents the maximum profit of $497. And then finally, we're asked to determine the price to charge per leash to maximize the profit. To determine this price, we need to evaluate the price demand function little p of x at x equals 13. Let's do this on the next slide. The price per dog leash to maximize the profit is going to be little p of 13, which is equal to 83 minus 3 times 13, which gives us 83 minus 39 which is equal to 44. Which means the price to maximize the profit must be $44 per leash. I hope you found this helpful.